Good morning and welcome back to my channel. You join me this morning as I am getting ready. I'm just, oh, that's my phone. I am just doing my hair this morning and I'm using the Creative Curl Wand. I think, at least at the time of filming this, I think these are on sale. So I'll leave them linked below, but it's basically from GHD. It's one of these um, wands that I use that just creates a bit more of a beachy wave. So I just curl it like this freehand as well. You don't have like a little clip or anything. And I just hold it for like 10 seconds, let the curl cool a little. I mean, at this point, I have balayage <laughs> because my roots have grown out so much, but I'm kind of like, there's like an in-between in stage for me. See, it's quite curly here. So I'll leave it like that until I do the rest of my hair and then I, uh, comb it out with my fingers and some oil and like I said it just creates a bit more of a beachier wave like the ends are a bit straighter and yeah it's uh, a different to my normal GHD curve kind of look but yeah it just takes a little bit more time just because I have to do it in slightly smaller sections uh, but anyway how is everybody I hope you're all doing really well I'm planning on going into Manchester today. I've just dropped Barney off at daycare for the day, which he absolutely loves, and he's not been in a while, so he was eager to go. Literally, the words, do you want to go to doggy daycare, literally sends his head like that, and he's like, is she serious? And he drags me in there. Um, but yeah, so I've dropped him off there. Tom's in town as well. I was going to drop him off at Tom's office whilst I was in town, which he does sometimes take him um, and he would have been fine with. But like I said, I just feel like I'm not taking him to daycare for a while. And if I take him to Tom's office, I still need to walk him in the morning and I still need to walk him at night. Whereas at daycare, he just is running around all day and he's knackered when he gets home. So... I thought, you know what, I'm going to take him into daycare so that I can just focus on getting some work done today, popping into town, taking you guys with me, having a little explore, a little mooch, a little vlog. I think the main shop that I want to show you guys in is Primark. And hopefully they've got some nice new bits. Sometimes you go in Primark and have a really successful trip and sometimes you don't. Plus, it's also the time of the year whereby... I think they're starting to get the Christmas bits out which seems quite early and the kind of the autumn stuff is like been and gone now even though we're obviously it's still in autumn so the homeware well I don't know I'm, I'm saying it might not be that good but it might be it might be really good so we'll see when we get there see look how ringlety that is and then once it's brushed out it just leaves a really nice uh finish I'll show it to you when it's finished. I'll show you what I'm wearing as well. I haven't even decided yet. I'm still in my comfies. This set is so comfy. I have been living in it. Let me just move this chair oh, out of the way so I can show you. I'll leave this linked as well. It's just baggy, oversized, very comfortable set from Zara. They have this in a few colours, I think, but this khaki colour is what I reached for. And yeah, just love it. Just because it's so comfy and relaxed. The top is kind of like, it's not a t-shirt and it's not long sleeves. It's just, but I, I just, I've been living in it. I am also thinking about doing a bit of a depop though, a bit of a clear out. I know I've been talking about it for a while, but I also, I have my makeup bag next to me. Whilst um, I did my makeup this morning, I was going through it and I was thinking, I used 10% of this bag and it is, it's one of those flat bay company bags. I'm just looking at it now. And it's so ram packed that I need to go through it really. And I need to just filter through anything that's probably been used and a bit out of date. Just get, just have a bit of a sort out. You know, sometimes when you've got like your makeup bag full of products that a sharpener's leaked, so they're a bit mucky. And I just want to get rid of stuff that's been opened that I'm never gonna put on my face because I'm thinking, well, how long has that been open for? and will it break me out but then I keep it because I like the product and I think no just um anything that's old bin 
and um, if there's anything that I need to replace, I can uh, get some new ones because I do not want to break out and so I don't use them. So they're just sat there taking up space. Wasted space. So that's the plan today, guys. I hope you enjoy spending the day with me. It's actually quite a sunny day today as well, so we can wear a nice autumn outfit without the need for a big coat or anything like that to cover cover up. I actually think the temperature is quite warm as well this week. Maybe even like 19, 20 degrees. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I um, went to the bathroom like first thing and I was in just little short pyjamas and I was cold and I was thinking oh, I need to get the long PJs out straight away. So yeah, a bit crazy at this stage as you can tell but I'll show you guys once I'm finished. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna brave it with no jacket. I might regret this, but I just know what I'm like when I get shopping. Also, this t-shirt's just a little bit snug. It's from Cos and it's a, a like a boxy tee. But this one's in the small and I have the medium as well. I prefer the fit for medium, but anyway. Um, basic wet tea, basic jeans. These are my favorite Everlane jeans. These are in the sale. If they're still available, I'll leave them linked because they're a bargain. They are, I think they're about 120 pounds down to 30 and they are the comfiest, nicest jeans I own. Honestly, so, so comfortable. Crossbody bag from Uniqlo, just because for me, when I'm vlogging, this fits like phone, purse, camera, everything in. So, and it's really accessible to whip out the camera to show you guys what's in stores. And then this is my hair that I've just kind of, it will drop a bit more, but just brushed out with my fingers and loads of oil from Moroccan oil. I do like two, three pumps when I do this hairstyle just to get loads of hydration back into the ends this necklace as well i must get questions on where this necklace is from every single day so again i'll leave it linked below nice kind of mid-range price point with that one that i just love it reminds me a little bit of you see how it's like a little star but it kind of looks like one of the little louis vuitton logos i think but anyway i just love it i really like how dainty it is but a little bit of glitz at the same time and this is my shopping outfit what shoes am i gonna wear maybe just birkenstocks because it's so sunny i've been loving wearing these lately this just suede so very comfortable just in case i get there and i'm absolutely frozen which i don't think i will be i'll just take this zara jacket it's a bit of like a throw on quilted cozy number but i think i think i'm brave it i think we'll be all right Ooh. okay primark shopping here we go firstly this little workwear section which is new i've not seen them kind of categorize the work section like that before i also quite liked this cardigan with no kind of buttons that kind of bow detail on that top is quite in there's loads more rita aura section even this whole workout range of like different workout tops some really beautiful shades um yeah really nice kind of creamy color taupe colors and then, of course, all of the outerwear is in store. I quite liked this Rita Ora kind of blaze. Well, it wasn't a blaze. It was like a leather vest. They had both in black and sand. And then this kind of utility jacket I really liked as well. And then heading over to a kind of like festival section. They had these randomly with the festival bits. I wouldn't say they're festivaly, but... Quite nice like autumn plaid check shirts and then they've got a whole beetlejuice section but also look at their cafe it's now changed to a shrek cafe these are the tops that i talk about the built-in bra ones really handy for if you're wanting a racer style top which they also now do in pink and gray and a striped version as well without the need of a bra and then this kind of shape of jean this barrel jean i've been seeing quite a lot lately so yeah i had a quick look at their jeans section they had this more kind of distressed one they were 18 pounds loads of this kind of preppy style with the sweatshirt with collars on which i've noticed um and also they had some in the kind of knit version as well as like a shirt underneath a jumper like this one kind of cricket jumper vibes and even with the shirt popping out at the bottom very very preppy 
I also loved this very thick kind of bralette style top. I just wasn't sure when I would wear it. And then of course, have to check out the jumper dresses, some very cozy bits in for autumn. Then they also have now some more bargain prices in terms of basics like these chunky kind of cotton joggers in like sand, navy, grey, just all the classics at only £7. Now the jumper that I talked about um, in my previous Primark haul and also one that I got last year, the one that contains wool, they also now, now do that fabric in cardigans, like kind of waterfall open style cardigans as well so yeah worth checking out also i loved this vest this kind of like knit fabric i loved i just wasn't sure again if i would get the wear out of that one bit out of season this one but this khaki dress was lovely it was a mini version but i think it would look nice in a maxi too then i had a quick look in the primark edit as always one of my favorite sections but was a little disappointed this time they had some nice ballet flats but I just still don't think these suit me at all but again they have like shorts this is my t-shirt that I love getting from there the 12 pound one from the Primark edit range beautiful kind of quality and then they have a worn well section look at the prices of some of these jeans in the sale five pounds they're down to these are all kind of vintage thrifted secondhand these are within Primark so this worn well section if you've been to the Primark in Manchester um has a whole section in itself and I was looking out for suede items in particular because suede is huge this year now I would have picked this jacket up had I not have already bought one from Depop I will show you that once it arrives hopefully I'm gonna love it I also love this Harley Davidson t-shirt they had some Levi's some Montclair they had so many designers, Burberry trench coats. I had no idea they had such like high designer, high value items. They had loads of barber jackets. I feel like wax jacket season is upon us. They also, guys, look, had a Hermes blazer. Didn't really like the style of it, but yeah, Hermes. Anyway, they have a whole music section as well if you're really into like the band T style. This was in the men's department. And I've noticed lots of dupes within the footwear department. These kind of like Asics dupes. Again, more suede boots. I had my eyes on these beautiful neutral colored ones. But also like these are like giving a Givenchy with the style. They also have, of course, as always, the fake Uggs. Really like that color. It's like the antelope color that I have had the last couple of years and love. Got so much wear out of that color. Then we're heading into the home section. Again, out of season that one, but I just thought that was a really pretty duvet spread. They had a few autumn bits in, including these chunky wooden boards, some new crockery. They had a kind of like pumpkin casserole dish some um napkins and these kind of like artichoke trend bowls they kind of had a take on them although i didn't really like them um this was quite interesting if you've got a stanley or a stanley dupe some really nice faux flowers vases as always love a good look in the home section but there wasn't too much new in as you can see by the halloween section as well the shelves are kind of dwindling there's not that much choice it's definitely in between seasons that was quite nice for like a wreath making kit i thought not too much newness in terms of the home fragrance products as well but yeah this is my little trip and definitely we'll be back in a couple of weeks I am all done at Primark. Successful trip, got a couple of bits, or a couple of bags, <laughs> bags full of bits. Um, I thought I'd just dump them in my car. I've still got a bit of time left on parking, so I am gonna head back to the shops. I just jump in my car for a sec, because I just wanna top up my uh, lip balm. I've got some lip balm in here, which I just wanted to throw on. Um, it's definitely transitional period with Primark. I will say that it's, uh, So much better fresh from the fridge when you've got that condensation on the outside so refreshing anyway I oops uh, yeah this is just the Laneige sleep mask it's really hydrating and moisturizing uh, so it's lunchtime and I'm thinking do I grab a bite to eat before heading back my answer is probably yes I am 
parked outside Moose Coffee, which do such good pancakes, but it's full and I'm not going to queue for a table by myself. I'm just, oh, I just don't want to. Um, so there is a Tim Hortons across the road, so I might just grab a Tim Hortons and then use their toilet because I need a wee as well. <laughs> So yeah, like I was saying, they're definitely transitional. They've got all their summer dresses kind of in the sale and then they've got um, winter puffer coats. So a real mix, a real in-between kind of uh, period. I would hold off for a couple of weeks before going if you can. Um, but anyway, let's go grab some lunch. So Tim Hortons it was for my lunch and I've noticed they've changed up their menu. They've got some pumpkin spices in, they've got some new cheese melts with like cheese and herb or cheese and mustard. So yeah, treated myself to a Tim Hortons for lunch. Then I popped into the White Company. They had this gorgeous table spread with this new tablecloth and these pumpkins that they've got. I quite liked the small eight pound ones as little place settings. For the life of me, I cannot find the felt pumpkins that I bought one year. The last couple of years, I keep going to find them and I can't find them, but I did have some. Um, anyway, they had these salt pigs. Is that what they're called? Salt pigs? Um, the price had rubbed off, but I think it said £50, but I thought that was uh, quite nice. And then I also spotted that they have the winter out. The winter is just such a classic scent. Oh, I just love it so much. Anyway, they also are jumping on with the suede trend bandwagon. And I did pick up a couple of things, so you'll have to stay tuned for what I picked up. But then I headed into Cos and had just a quick browse. I didn't actually pick anything up from Cos, but I did like the look of this kind of like vest waistcoat, very minimal in design. And then I also liked this little black bag that they've got very, again, designer inspired. Just a good little clutch that could be dressed up, dressed down. And I also loved this kind of like neutral jacket for autumn. <sighs> We're back home. This is a little pile of bits that I got. So I've decided, oh, are we in focus? This isn't the best place to vlog, I've got nowhere to put you. But I've decided I'm going to do a Primark haul in my next video. So I will share with you everything I've got. As you can see, a couple of bags with a sneak peek as to what I got. But I did also pop into the white company and got a few bits. So I'm gonna include that in the vlog as well because otherwise it's a pretty small Primark haul. So Primark and white company, full haul video coming next. In the meantime, however, I did pop into Sainsbury's. There's one thing in particular that I've been trying to keep my eyes peeled for and cannot get. And I actually asked in store this time and they said they're not online. Uh, sorry, they're only online. I'll pop an image on the screen so that you can keep your eyes peeled in your local Sainsbury's. But it's an autumn harvest style tea towel of which is only two pounds. And I don't know why they didn't stock these to the max in Sainsbury's because they're just so simple in terms of design and just would look lovely out on display. But like I said, the last few times I've been into Sainsbury's, they haven't had them at ours anyway. In fact, our store has, <laughs> our store has hardly had any autumn decor really. There's a couple of little bits, but not really. And popped in today and they had their Christmas stuff out. So I kind of think ours has just bypassed the autumn bits and yeah. So I'm not gonna have a chance to have a look at some autumn goodies in Sainsbury's, which is a shame because I really like their homeware stuff and usually it's really good. But I did get a couple of other bits. I got some fashion -y finds and some other homeware bits I thought I would share with you. Um, and what else was I gonna say about that? gone. <laughs> I did get this uh, photo frame. They had loads of sale bits as well and this was reduced to £2.25 but it's double mounted so I just really like that insert that is within here. So they had these in like an oak frame. I was torn between the two. I thought I'll get a black one and they had them in different sizes as well all in the sale. So yeah I thought £2.25 for that. Such a bargain. I also found this book now this retails for 26 pounds but they're actually selling it for 13 pounds in sainsbury's and it's called country comfort 
it just looks like a very wholesome book that we can pop out on display for this season and also have a flick through and maybe include a couple of recipes within my next vlog or even this vlog we'll see how much time i've got oh that's a bit of me that feta cat oh <laughs> just hit myself in the face of it feta caramelized onion and honey tartlets that could be a good little lunch option actually anyway so i'm gonna have a flick through that it is by harry beavis i also saw these on tiktok so when i saw them in store i was like oh, i'll grab them just to try you guys know i love a custard cream in particular the mns custard creams are ultimately chocolatey coated ones insane well sainsbury's do a custard cream twists with a gingerbread flavor filling so I think it's got a hint of gingerbread flavour to it and the bourbons that they do have a hint of black forest flavour just to stock up for movie nights of our favourite popcorn. Now I saw in the pyjama section, Sainsbury's pyjamas, they have loads of gorgeous ones, even like autumny ones, just really nice cosy pajamas so i got a couple of new pairs and i'm gonna get rid of like some old ones that are a bit disheveled been through the tumble dryer a bit too many times been through the tumble dryer one too many times and instead i have some fresh new pairs of these piped pajamas these are my favorite these are the kind of white company dupes that i feel like now everywhere does them so tesco's do really nice quality primark sainsbury's now have them they were 20 pounds so i got them in a medium just super super soft and then another kind of more brushed cottony kind of pajama set that I got. Um, these are sold as separates though. These ones, um, I got the bottoms in a 12. They are cinchable, so you can size up, as I always like to do with pajamas, for comfort. Um, and yeah, they're just like a striped PJ shirt set. So these ones, similar colour. Um, but again, a slightly different material, more of like a brushed cotton and the top was 12 pounds another cozy gorgeous pajama set for autumn winter this year and then this was in the sale and i've not tried it on yet but we'll try it on together there was only one left in a large so it's going to be oversized on me uh, but it was 50 percent off they had like things up to 70 percent off so this one was only was it 15 pounds 32 full price so yeah 16 pounds for this one and i just thought that one that i showed you earlier from zara i feel like it's going to be a very heavily worn coat so i thought this lighter green color could be quite a nice addition as well to my wardrobe i had one similar last year and i wore it so much it was a bit thicker than this one i wore it so much that i it became like a dog walking coat you know rather than like a nice one it's obviously big on me it is oversized and boxy anyway so a large for me is probably a bit too big i would have sized to a medium had they've had one but for 16 pounds nice little lightweight quilter jacket this again would have been perfect for um like today when i was looking at that zara one to wear but as a lighter color like a nice sage green i don't know if that's coming off on camera but yeah it's like a sage green color no it's turned out to be quite warm today so i'm glad i braved it without a coat i did not need one bumped into tom in town as well so um walked down king street with him whilst he was on his way to lunch and whilst i was popping into the white company uh, but yeah, they are all the bits that I got from Sainsbury's. For those who have been asking, a little update on the Lego front. I am pretty much done. I have just a few pages left to go. But look, my Home Alone house is going to be perfect for Christmas decor. Yeah, there's just a couple of bits that I need to finish. Where am I? We are here. So I'm on bag number 23 to finish off this little section, which I think is added onto the back of the house. I'm not sure yet. I haven't quite figured that out, but that's this, which is what I'm working on now. And then I'm done. So, so far, this is what I've built. So you've got the roof that you can lift up here. And inside there's the little attic room, the little lamp there, the little cobweb, a bed up there. And then we've got the second floor 
which has, oh my God, how, oh, I just love it, guys. This is just too much. So this as well, you can buy on Amazon. I'm going to get them a light pack, which basically helps with Christmas decor. You can obviously light it up. So yeah, we've got a little bedroom in here. We've got um, a little Christmas wreath, uh, kind of like a hallway here with doors into the, into the rooms as well. A um, little bathroom and then on the ground floor chairs have fallen over but little dining chairs I thought they would I need to sort the legs out but yeah we've got the little dining room in here and then look you can even see like the little clock the corridor through there if you open the front door you can see into the hallway and then on this side you've got the Christmas room we need to get rid of this spider this little spider can you see him He's gone. It's a money spider, so we'll leave him there. Um, we've got this room in here. Again, artwork and everything, little fireplace, Christmas tree. And if I spin this on the side, it moves the little train track train around. Do you know what? I'm quite tempted this year to do, I know we're talking Christmas already, which is crazy, but I'm tempted to do a little train track. So you know here where I have the kind of novelty nostalgia Christmas tree with like fun decorations and one-off pieces, a bit more color. I'm thinking like a little train track around the bottom could be quite fun. I don't know if Barney's gonna think that it's a toy for him or not, but just, you know, just a classic 90s Christmas. And also whilst I spin that, it spins this record player as well. But yeah, I'm pretty proud with that, how fast I've managed to get through this. And even this little fire, do you remember down in the basement? That's where this is gonna be, the basement. But I think it attaches to the back because there's a hole back there somewhere, yeah. Um, where you can go in here and steps up into the house. So maybe it'll just be like attached to the side, I'm not sure. But look at this little fire, that scary fire. Look, it lights up as well. Do you remember down in the basement in Home Alone? That's what that is. Anyway, Lego update for those that wanted it. This is how we're looking. Also, if you can hear the banging away going on out there, we've got the builders cracking on with the outdoor kitchen. And you're doing a renovation project, how you've just got to kind of stick with the stage before where it kind of like has to get worse to get better. It's like all down the side, we had perfectly pristine Cotswold gravel, all looking neat and tidy. And now, which I never really show you around the side, cause it's kind of just where we have our bins. But now it's just like a building site again. So we're gonna have to order some more gravel once they've gone and once they've finished with that outdoor kitchen. Um, because it's just building supplies all down there. And they had to like dig out to plumb up the uh, sink. Cause we're gonna have like an outdoor sink out there as well. So all these little bits just make it, <laughs> make it feel like a building site again just feels like it's never ending but we are nearly there we are nearly there with the uh well i suppose the house is done there's bits that we need to redo like i think one of you guys pointed out up here it said that you thought there was a leak it's not a leak there's areas like that in the house whereby through doing the upstairs first and doing the renovation in stages it meant that by doing upstairs we knew and this is why we just said white everywhere initially we knew that there would be settlement cracks and hairline cracks. I can see another one here by the windowsill. Once we started the extension, naturally, I mean, you get settlement cracks anyway, but by doing an extension, obviously ripping out half of the ground floor walls to do the extension, we were expecting things like that. So things like that have been filled, but yet to be painted over. I'm also thinking in here, do I wanna go with a different paint color? Now that we've kind of, got the extension done and the house is done hopefully fingers crossed we won't have any more sort of settlement cracks and this is where we can start to maybe think about room colors do we want to actually paint room colors like for instance our bedroom which is in lick beige one it's such a lovely color and just so calming in there that any other white rooms i'm thinking oh, i just want to get a bit more character with a nicer color or like a stone or just something a bit softer than white although having said that it's quite nice to have this room white with it being a wardrobe room and a filming room but anyway i got a couple of deliveries whilst i was out 
So I thought I would show you them. Firstly, I've ordered some uh, the two new Neptune brochures. You can do this free of charge, same with the White Company one, where you just go onto their website. Oh, it smells so good. It's like a brand new book. It smells amazing. Um, you can go on and just request a brochure and they send them out. But I also think they look quite nice kind of set out just on your living room coffee table or on your footstool or something. Just to have a flick through, like they've got a recipe in this one. Where is it? Pistachio and olive oil cake. They've also got courgette ricotta and anchovy tart. That sounds nice. Um, some inspo, some new in bits. So that's the stories of volume 20, but then they also have their new autumn winter directory for 2024, whereby you can have a flick through and look at the entire range of products. Their new colour is the Bracken, which I talked about before, and it's basically that colour. And then I also came home to, like I said, a couple of PR parcels. Firstly, Max Factor. They've very kindly sent over this, which is, I'm yet to even open this. What is this? Ready for a skin reset, introducing the newest innovation from Max Factor, a Miracle Pure Skin Reset 2-in-1 Serum Foundation. So I'm imagining this is quite a light formula so it's skincare mixed with makeup which is quite nice after 14 days bare skin looks healthier after 28 days it looks brighter and skin tone looks more even so there are a couple of shades here i'm feeling like this one number fair 10 to 30 fair it's probably better suited to me so i'll just swatch a bit on the back so we can test out the product oops yeah it's quite quite like a thin lightweight formula that might be a bit too light for me, but we'll see once blended in. Do you know what, actually? That's got more coverage than I thought it would have. I feel like I need to give that a proper test out, and like I said, I do think the other shade might be better suited, or maybe a combination of the two. I'm going to open this one next because I feel like I need it, if it is what I think it is. Oh gosh, this is hard to open. From Lanolet. Oh, maybe not. No, it's not. It's a hand product from Nanalit. It is their Milk and Honey Hand Cream Intense. Love their lip products. Oh, yeah, it's quite thick. Smells smells like the honey definitely comes through. Um, it's maybe a bit thick for me. I feel like that's why Lanalips is great for lip products because it is so thick and hydrating. Mm, I don't know if that's too thick for me. I feel like it is. It feels a bit, not sticky, but I can feel it on my hands. I don't know if I enjoy that feeling. L'Occitane have sent over, what have they sent? A box with some bits from their Herbe range, which is a really nice range. And inside here we have a um, one of their shower gels, also a body milk quite often you get these on offer on qvc in fact this might even have been from qvc this past so i'm not sure a hand cream in there we have an eau de toilette from this fragrance now l'occitane fragrances can be i think quite nice for like shower products but as a perfume maybe a bit too floral but let's see what her base smells like oh no this isn't floral oh this is lovely this is quite um Oh, that is, that is nice. It is very feminine still. A striking freshness, yeah, it's definitely fresh. Subtle herbaceous, floral iris heart and warm musky tones. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely one that I would wear considering I'm not a floral gal. I like that. Just fresh, much fresher. Although the only thing is, is it feels out of season. It feels like it's the scent that's been and gone. Last but not least from... Pixie celebrating 25 years of Pixie. In this fairy tale box, I've gathered some of our most loved and beautifying treats. Please enjoy it and spread the glow wherever you go. This is my favorite toner. Such a classic. I feel like it's always within my skincare drawer. Also got in here, hydrating milky mist. Yet to try that one. The rose oil blend. And then there is a drawer down below. This I already have and have tried out and it's a lovely blush stick it's called whereby it's an on the go one where you can just, it's kind of like a um, balmy formula which you can just 
literally it looks like a roll up deodorant blend out with your finger and then we've got a oh from a hello kitty uh collaboration that they did the lip tone ph reactive tint let's give this a try it just says moisturizing tint creates your unique hint of a tint color apply to clean dry lips yes yeah, so it comes out clear not sure how this is going to add a tint of color if it comes out clear it is going a bit darker. How does that work? Wow, I've never tried anything like that before. We've also got in here liquid fairy lights, a glimmery shadow, the mascara, also this sheer cheek gel. And is in the shade flushed. There we go. It's my little PR unboxing. I can't get over that. How does that work? I have no idea what this is, but it has just been delivered straight to my door and I've just opened the top and saw this. So I thought it'd be rude not to unbox this with you guys. Is that better? Maybe a little bit. Um, so, it looks festive. Sealed with the cutest little stamp and gingerbread. Can you see that little gingerbread stamp? I have to repurpose that ribbon at Christmas. Ooh, from my, oh, keep putting this packaging everywhere. From Mighty Oat, what a festive package this is. They have delivered their, oh wow, that sounds delightful. Guys, does that not sound a bit of me? Gingerbread oat barista, spiced gingerbread flavor barista oat milk. Perfect for all your cozy seasonal drinks. Think gingerbread lattes, hot chocolate. It's hitting the shelves in Sainsbury's from the 23rd of September. And it's also gonna be available on Ocado. But it's limited edition, so once it's gone, it's gone. So you really do have to just buy it when you see it. If you see this and think you'll like it. Oh, and they've also given me a discount code if you want to order it on mightydrinks.com. If you shop with the code mightyfreya20, you get 20% off. So that is so sweet of them to send over that and to enjoy with my little gingerbread latte or hot chocolate. I've got a little cookie and also a little beanie as well with again, Mr. Cute Gingerbread Man on. So thank you so much to the team for sending me that. If I saw that in the supermarket, that is 100% going in my basket. Guys, look at my lips. I can't get over the color of them. I don't know if I like the color on me or not. It's like turning out to be bright pink, this. Hold on one second. Oh yeah, that's too pink for me. I need to, I need to take that off. I wonder if Pixie do a different one that you can get different shades, but with that gone on clear, look how bright pink it's gone. I think I'm actually gonna sit down and enjoy just 10 minutes of reading. I'm gonna start the bit of self-love type reading. I'm gonna start with this Vex King book. The things that no one taught us about love. Come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain While taking in the view I think it's about time we go pick up Mr. Barney Boo. He is, what time is it? You can pick them up, well you can pick them up obviously anytime you want but it is quarter to five and it's about time that I go and get my little fur baby. There he is. Where's my baby? Oh, I've just given him a treat. He's munching away. Bunny. Tell you what, guys. Sorry for the zoom. It's blooming warm. 23 degrees, it says on my car. What's going on, Barney? Guys, I'm just watching the cutest program. There's a second season of the My Mum, Your Dad, which is just like quite a wholesome watch. It's kind of like, I think ITV mentioned about them wanting to bring out a Love Island, but for 
um an older generation when i say older they're like in their 40s 40s 50s i think but yeah it's, it's just quite a good watch the only thing is obviously you have to be a mum or a dad so they've all got kids which i suppose a lot of 40 to 50 year olds will have kids anyway but um yeah it's quite a good little watch not loads of episodes so easy to binge it's not like as intense as a love island and also there was an ad on whilst i was watching it for um new season of big brother coming which i didn't realize there was going to be another one of in october so who's going to be watching big brother i am just editing the vlog from today whilst watching this in the background probably gonna make myself some dinner in a sec but i might just wait till tom gets home he's marinated some chicken which i think we're gonna have with just rice veg boring um but yeah that's gonna go ahead and conclude today's vlog i think so i hope you guys have enjoyed it stay tuned and uh, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on for my next upload which will be the primark haul and i'll show you the white company bits that i got as well so yeah stay tuned for that otherwise i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and sending you all my love and well wishes and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video Bye, guys.